guys what's going on my name is Luis and God bless to every single one of you today is September 4 2024 and God bless to every single one of you all right guys so we have some urgent information coming out if you can please share this video and I want to show you this title really quick give me a second here first look this is an inside look of what the new people from the southern region apartment building in Aurora, Colorado that has been allegedly overturned by gangsters look like. And boy, oh boy, there are bullet holes in the glass, broken windows, mold, and entire ceilings decaying from water damage. Man! Look at that tub. We have more breaking news updates. Look at this. Look at this here, guys. A Woba business owner described this group from the southern region. We've been forced to put bulletproof glass up. It's not over. It's not over. It's not over. Uh, we are seeing a lot of this stuff going on, guys. And uh, I posted uh, I posted this video a couple of days ago. These are the people that live out there in Colorado. That's how they gotta, you know, close their doors and uh, make sure that nobody comes in. I mean, it, I feel again. I feel so bad for the people out there in Colorado. Hmm. So, uh, we're going to see what's going on here, guys. We do have some breaking news updates. Um, businesses are being told, hey, you're going to have to uh, replace those windows and put in uh, bulletproof uh, glass. It goes to tell you that uh, things are not uh, good. Even though the Gov says that uh, everything is fine, but uh, yeah, uh, those businesses are receiving letters. And those letters, you need to replace your windows. The reason why, there's bullets flying left and right. All right, guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, family, and loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon will get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. And for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. So you best believe these people, the businesses, they are receiving letters. They are being told, actually, they are being forced, you need to replace those glass windows with bulletproof glass windows. And I posted a video yesterday. This one guy was being interviewed, but, uh, you know, it was anonymous. He didn't want to show his face. And he's like, if you take a look on the right side, that's my window right there. It has a bullet hole. So uh, they basically tell everyone, you need to change your glass. A woman who owns a business adjacent to the apartment complex taken over by Venezuelan gangs in Aurora, Colorado, says she has been forced to put up bulletproof glass to protect her business, describing the event and her community caused by these group. These group are very upset now because some of their members were cuffed and they were taken. So they're not going to be pleased. They're not going to be pleased. These are locusts, and these locusts are not happy. So it's horrible. Mike, uh, oh, give me a second. It says here, it's horrible. Mike, I run a business right adjusting to that apartment complex, she said, describing the current situation as overwhelming. It's out of control. I used that same title for my other video. It's out of control. Denver is just a sanctuary city. They're just they're just flooding them into the smaller communities. Now they're busing them out here. They're busing them to our smaller communities. 
and their hotels are being overrun out here. And it's just chaos, just chaos, the caller identified as Pam said, explaining that they have been in business for 10 years running a gas station. Let me just imagine that you again you built a business and then for someone to come and mess it up and it's not within it's coming from other regions other lands before these group crisis she described the neighborhood as one in the middle not the best but not the worst either You know, it was fairly quiet community. You know, you had your problems. You know, you had your shoplifters. But since this has become more and more, they just come in and grab and run. And you know, we've been forced to put bulletproof glass up into our business since this has all started. So th again, they received letters. They, uh, they received letters. And I do believe all those businesses are receiving letters. Unbelievable. It's just become worse and worse and worse. We can no longer stay open late at night. You know, they had an issue not too long ago where they forced almost all the businesses on the street to shut down. I believe uh was at night of the election that happened over in Venezuela that they shut down everything, she said, explaining that they could not even get around to their vehicles we uh, we just had to shut down or shut the store explaining that uh, there were so many of these group flooding I mean literally flooding the parking lots and streets that they could not move describing it as chaos further Pam said they have had a lot of dashing in and grabbing and taking off with full you know racks of stuff Hmm. We've been robbed a couple of times, she said, noting that uh, they have a car wash that these group will break into and stay in overnight. It's like I said, it's just sheer chaos. It's like, you know, there's no help from anywhere. You know, and our own gov, gov, gov just denies that this is happening. She said of Colorado's left gov, uh, who is in denial of the problem. If you live out there in Colorado, you know what to do. Don't go for the V, again, the blue, go for the red, period. That's it. The problem is, is that all those group there their name is on a list already and they're going to be added to November. So we're going to see something here, guys. All these new people that's coming in, their name is going to be on the list for November. You have Arizona. Arizona is fighting back. Arizona is saying we're not going to be allowing this type of stuff to go in November. It ain't going to happen. And uh, now there's a big lawsuit going on because you have uh, the 4-6 administration saying, hey, they have the right to go and do that November thing too. I challenge him to come stay a night out in this apartment complex. You know, I don't think he would. I actually don't think he would, you know. Uh, he, you know, like I said. We're hoping for change in November. That's the one. I would love to see Colorado go back to be a red. It's a beautiful state. It's sad what's happening here, she said, emphasizing they are holding on to hope for November. You know, change is coming. That's what we are holding on for. In the meantime, we just keep going every day because, you know, who's going to buy a business that's, you know, in this area, she added. Wow. And now you have people like, like her. Every day when we come home, 
We have to do this every time. And that's what they do. Extra protection. Extra protection. Now it's very important to continue talking about this story. Because ladies and gentlemen, eventually you will work uh, you will work for them and they will become your leaders. People's gonna be like, uh uh Lewis, it ain't gonna happen. Uh according to scriptures, when uh foreigners come into a land, that's basically what happens. And just like that, they tearing places up. Literally. Unbelievable. Hmm. And that's where we are right now. I'm going to keep it updated with uh, this story here. But guys, uh, there's going to be a shift. All right. Uh, I do believe that... Uh, this country is under under judgment. I do believe so. Um, this uh, sleeping giant has committed blaspheme against our Lord and Savior. Our Father in Heaven is not going to tolerate that. The church is empty. Actually, the church is packed, but uh, the false teacher is spreading the wrong gospel, deceiving many. Wolves disguised in clothing of lambs. It's happening. We are seeing it, living it, witnessing Bible prophecy right in front of our faces. Thank you so much for watching. Again, please share this video. For those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you send it to me, Luis Santiago. Or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.